So, um, here we are inside the silo of the half scale wave swing. Uh, it's a really exciting time for us. Um, we have started the, the fit out of the silo, as we can see from all the equipment round about us. Um, this was all previously installed in the, in the test frame outside in the factory. And now we can see everything's um, getting put together inside. Um, the guys have made good progress with the work. Still some things to go in here. Uh, still quite a lot of tidying up, but um, a good, good lot of progress. Um, up here to my uh, right, we've got the environmental control system, which is all the ball valves and uh, pressure cylinders, which control the air, t air pressure inside the, inside the wave swing here. So behind me, I've got the um, power takeoff cabinet. Inside of this are the uh, variable speed drives that control the power takeoff uh, motor generator set, which is down below me here, out, out of shot. Um, round next to my left here is the hydraulic power unit. So we've got an oil reservoir, accumulators, various valves here. Um, this has two functions. One is to provide um, a reservoir of oil for flushing that power takeoff system and the other one is to provide uh, auxiliary oil uh, for operating the floater brakes and the, um, the locking pins on the floater and the brake on the winch. So this big box here um, houses the pull down winch uh, which we use both for installing the machine and pulling it below the surface of the sea and also for regulating the depth that the machine sits. So we'll have a quick guided tour of the winch. We can see here that it, uh, it has a grooved drum to make sure that the tether always lays itself onto the drum in the way we want. On this side is the, the drive end. So we can see there the spline shaft where the electric motor couples on. Uh, and there's a hydraulic hose fitting coming out or hydraulic hose with a fitting. Uh, which is for operating the, the drum brake. Down at the bottom here, uh, we have a load pin that measures the total load on the, on the winch tether. And then down to the, to the right hand side there is a machined hole and another one across here. Those are for holding the winch in position. So we have two big uh, rods that pass through the bottom of the silo and through those holes to hold the winch where it needs to be. Here's the main power takeoff uh, battery cabinet. Um, this is filled with a 400 volt uh, high capacity battery. Um, the cabinet it's in at the moment is um, a standard industrial cabinet, which we're about to strip down and rebuild with um, uh, greatly increased uh, strengthening so that the, the batteries don't work loose while the machine's at sea. So here we are looking down on the, the fabrications for the wave swing assembly. Um, looking down from the, the crane gantry and um, nice to see them all lined up, um, ready to go. So a really exciting time. There's another week or two of install and um, work to happen here before we get on with the pre-commissioning and then finally into the dry testing.